Hey everyone and once again welcome to WSQ Tech English channel. Myself Umar Taskir. Guys, in this particular video, we are basically going to talk about some more strategies with regards to custom audiences and we'll be also talking about the creation process of custom audiences with regards to the events that we have created and with regards to the instant experience ads that we have, right? So one very important thing that I would like to uh, tell you in the very beginning of this particular video is uh, whenever you are creating custom audiences, what you believe is you can only create custom audiences based on your property, right? Uh, many of the times I have seen people discussing about the things that, okay, uh, we can do the remarketing, we can also do the custom audience creation, we can do remarketing on the basis of custom audience creation. I've seen people talking about this thing, I've seen uh, people making strategies around this thing. But there is one more thing that we have to take care of. It's like uh, we should also try to prepare content. We should also try to uh, develop content so that we can also create custom audiences based on that content, right? Based on the interaction of that uh, content. What I want to tell you over here is, suppose if you are posting a lot of videos on your Facebook page, right? In that particular case, what will happen will come on your Facebook page and they will basically interact with your a video or they will uh, basically interact with your other things which you have on your Facebook page, right? As you know that you have different uh, uh, techniques or different ways through which you can create the audiences from the interaction that they are making on those videos or events or whatever, whatever other form of content is there. You can make your custom audiences from there also, right? But many of the times what we believe is most of the times we, we try to create uh, uh, custom audiences or we try to create our remarketing audiences based on our website interactions only. That is very fine. But yes, the important thing that I want to tell you over here is we cannot ignore that aspect also where we should have some strategy that basically is like creating more content, creating different uh, uh, touch points on Facebook so that people coming onto our Facebook property, like if, if people are coming onto our page or anything and they are interacting anywhere, we can track them and we can hit them with the remarketing campus, we can create uh, custom audiences based on those interactions. So if there is if there is scope of creating custom audiences based on Facebook sources, why don't we utilize that? And to utilize that thing, what we have to do is we have to prepare a lot of content first. First, we have to prepare a lot of content and then we have to uh, deliver that content on our pages. Then we have to wait for the people uh, to come on our content and then they interact and based on those interactions, we can create our custom audiences. So in this particular video, this is one important thing, which is like creating content for your pages so that you can create custom audiences based on that. Another thing that we are going to discuss in this particular video is creating uh, custom audiences based on, like we have other options also based on uh, events that we have created, events that we have created. And the second thing is we have to uh, learn creating custom audiences based on instant experience ads. This is what we are going to uh, learn in this particular video, right? This is what we are going to learn in this particular video. And now let's see how can we do this thing and what are the different options present over here. So what we have to do is as you can see on my laptop screen, we have to go to this custom audience section over here. And from here, we have to go to this event, right? So whatever events you have created on your page, right? So we also do this thing, right? Uh, whenever we do uh, different webinars or events or events based on our different courses, webinars based on our different courses, some IT related courses, some IT related webinars. Whenever we do this thing at uh, WSQ Tech, we, we used to promote it through events, right? So we have different events created over here on our different pages. What we can do is we can go ahead, click on this next. And from here, we have to pick up our page first. Okay, here it is. Now we have selected our page. Now we have the option, right? Uh, option there, there are so many options like people who responded with going or interested. So if there is any response like going or interested on your event, you can target those people. People who have uh, responded with going, people who have responded with interested, people who have visited the event page. If, if anyone uh, clicked on your that event thing and then they visited on your uh, event page, you can uh, create custom audiences based on this particular criteria also. People who have engaged, this can be like who have liked, shared or comment. Uh, on any one of the event on your page, people who entered the ticket purchase flow, right, entered that flow from where they are going to purchase the ticket, if it is paid one, people who have purchased the ticket, people who abandoned the ticket purchase flow, right. So you have different options over here with regards to uh, the events that you have created. 
so this is again going to help you in creating custom audiences because you have now segment over here you have now different criteria that you can actually select now you can select your facebook page and uh, uh, with this facebook page you can select the different events that you have created you can go uh, ahead and create the different events from here for this particular page right this this is what you can actually do so you can select your retention days from here then uh, you can include more people if you want then you can exclude more people if you want and then then what you have to do is simply put your name over here audience name and if you want uh, you can also go with this description thing but it is optional you can leave this thing, right you can click on create audience and now that's it your audiences will be created your audiences of this uh, uh, event will be created now coming back over here we have another uh, thing which is like instant experience so once you will click on this instant experience thing right so uh, if we go to our page like uh, this one ws cubic and if we have created different instant experience ads we can select that instant experience thing first and then uh, we have different options over here like people who opened this instant experience and people who clicked any links in the instant experience ad or the layout that we create right so it is it is a kind of a landing page a very light weighted uh, landing page so it comes as soon as someone is clicking on your ad uh, you can show them this instant experience uh, uh, layout or page which is which is basically very quick right so it loads very fast and uh, you have different content over there and people uh, can click on that content right and i mean people can interact with that content click on that content then they can uh, they can be redirected to your website also this is what you can do with the help of this instant experience option that we have over here right so you can do this thing also and you can similarly select your retention instant experience thing and then your audience name description if it is actually required from your side and then you can create your audiences so we know there are different methods that can actually help us in creating different kind of very useful custom audiences but we have to use our mind we have to see how that how strategically we can implement the logics behind custom audiences and how well we can actually use them so that's it for this specific video see you in the next video till then goodbye